Hi guys, now we're going to see how to create uh, point groups and manage the points um, within a point group and also we're going to see how to customize um, those points within the point group pretty much customizing the point marker style as well as the label style to get started what we're going to do is uh, for this exercise I have got a file which you can download from the description box um, once you download it if you try to open it and go to the location where you saved it so I'm just going to go into my save folder and change the file type to ddbg and that's a file so I'm gonna have the file name is start so that's a that's a file you start with and there will be another file that will be a finish file so just in case if you're stuck somewhere you can open the finish file and see how I have done it alright so I'm gonna start with this one okay so once the file is open so just do a zoom extend generally to check uh, nothing is in the file so everything is clear or else if you have some objects you can uh, get to your full screen to make sure that uh, you get a full idea of what's happening in your drawing all right so now once you are here uh, i'm just going to do the quickly import the points like what we did in the previous exercise right click on points click on create i'm going to click on the import button which is at the end of it i'm going to click on the plus sign to browse the file I'm going to the AEC dataset folder and I'm going to choose PENZD and as points. And once I've done that, I'm going to choose a format which is going to be PENZD, comma delimited. Check the preview if it's OK and then click on OK. And middle mouse button twice to zoom extent and then close the flyer toolbar. So you get all the points up here. So now the next thing what we're going to do is um, we're going to put them into groups. By default, Civil 3D comes with a group called All Points. So this is basically like your zero layer and not a cat. So you know you can't delete it. It comes as default. So every Kogo point that you have in the drawing will be inside this All Points. So that's one of the reasons that um, you, should, so you should be using uh, any design purpose. So now. Um, with the points inside the all points so it is it is not going to be really useful since the points it's going to be coming from different categories so what we're going to do is we're going to segregate them into different point groups so i'm going to right click on point groups i'm going to click on new and this is going to give me the pop-up for creating a point group so give a name so i'm going to say it's going to be natural surface given a description as well uh, survey done by on this date it's actually good to give some sort of um, uh, meaningful information of what this data is uh, which is inside this particular uh, group um, so it's going to be useful later on all right and then you can choose a point style so this is basically your marker style instead of an X mark if you want to have a different symbol you got a whole bunch of things that you can choose from so I'm going to choose BB just for the sake of this exercise and the same with the label style as well. Right now it has got the point number, elevation of the code. That's the one we have here. So there is a whole bunch of other preset ones. You can go and choose those ones. And once you have done it, uh, you can go to point group. So point groups is basically if you have, uh, let's say if you if there is pine trees, uh, if it's um, if there is neem trees and other trees inside, so they are pretty much they are smaller groups. You can create one group colored as all trees and add all the other little trees into that. So that's the concept of point groups, mother and child relationship. So now um, raw description matching. So based on the descriptions, and this asterisk is basically a wild card. Uh, based on the description um, value, it will actually assign some format into those points. And include tab, uh, there are a whole different uh, different ways that you can actually write some queries uh, qu queries inside the include tab uh, to, to pull points into this group. So just to give an example, I can say I want to bring in point 100 to 105. And if I go to point list, it's going to show me the, all the points from 100 to 105. And I can say I want to have 107 as well and it brings 107 as well and similarly you can go and pick this button and then you can go and pick random points from the screen so it could be any number of points and then it adds all the ranges up here so that is option one and even here so I'll quickly explain um, the exclude tab the exclude tab is just opposite of the include so now you say we are bringing in points from 100 to 105 if you go to exclude tab and say that I don't want point 103 and if you go into the list you will not see 103 so that is your exclude tab which works exactly opposite of the include tab 
but you've got to be careful when you're writing some exclude queries here so if I in future if I just go and uncheck okay imagine I don't want to bring this points into my group so I'm gonna uncheck it so now you still have the exclude query and then if you go to point list it's gonna exclude 103 and it's gonna bring in everything else so this is one thing you have got to be careful and uh, the reason being is um, typical workflow being a civil designer you go to the include tab most of the time to do some changing some queries and things like that but you hardly go into the exclude tab you tend to forget it's there so that's one of the reasons you know try to avoid it and try to make sure that your query can uh, the right the queries that you write here is able to do what you want to achieve uh, just to save some human errors and uh, you can also say get me all the points between elevation let's say 350 to 420 and then if you go to point list you should be able to see all the points between that range and similarly you can say point names matching and raw description and full description matching for our case we're going to use raw description I'm going to say the first two characters going to be NS and that's going to be followed by an asterisk which is a wild card so now what this one does is this point group goes and scans around all the points within the drawing and then it checks the raw description of those points if that is if the first two characters is NS it doesn't care what's after that it only checks for the first two characters if that matches it's going to bring in all the points inside so that's what the query does within the include tab there is a query builder so if you are a bit good with programming and if you want to do more complex queries and you can go into the query builder and you can write your own custom queries and you know you can pretty much click on modify query and you can go and uh, change whatnot you know and point list shows a preview and summary pretty much what all the things that you have applied so far it gives you sort of like a snapshot and anytime you see these sort of information within civil 3d you can right click and there is an option that says uh, copy to clipboard so that's basically copy of that information to your to your clipboard so you can paste it and send it an email or something all right so once that is done click OK and uh, those points are inside this innocent group but some cases sometimes you know the the changes doesn't happen on the screen if in case if you have that issue you have to type in the command R E A so that's region all so it's a basic AutoCAD command if you're an AutoCAD drafter you would have used it plenty of times that's the same thing you have to type in R A R E A and press enter so this will go and regenerate all the objects within the drawing so that's only in the case that if your drawings are not refreshing if you're not not drawing are not getting the latest changes perfect so we got the points within the natural surface so now I'm going to create another group I'm gonna call this one as trees I'm gonna say it's gonna have all trees and uh, point style I'm going to find 201 tree okay this will look like a tree you can click on this button to get a preview of it so that's how it's gonna look like and just remember since I'm using an ANZ template so I get all these styles so if you're using a different uh, country kit and if you're using a different template you may not get all of these ones you might get different ones all right um, so next is a point style I'm gonna leave it as such for now I'm gonna come back and change it a little later so similarly I'm gonna skip all these ones and go to the include tab go into the raw description I'm gonna type in TR asterisk and now go to my point list it's going to bring in all the trees because it's going to check only the first two characters and as you can see it's case insensitive so it brings doesn't matter which case it is so it just checks only the two characters if that's that's matching it's all good okay so click OK now we got the trees in place which is good so now um, the marker is okay so it looks like a tree that's perfect and uh, the label so I wanted to have a bit more different type of label so how do I achieve it so I'm going to right click on trees go to properties so now I'm gonna quickly show you how to customize the marker and the label alright so we will meet in the next lesson and we'll discuss about that okay thanks guys